Hi, boys and girls. How are you today? I'm so excited to be here with you. Boys and girls, I have a job at school, and my job at school is to keep you... Yeah, that's right, to keep you safe. Well, guess what? I have a special guest here, and his job is to keep everyone safe. It's Deputy Nelson. He's going to read you a story about being safe. And in this book, he talks about lots of tips to be safe. I hope you enjoy the story. Hello, boys and girls. Thank you for letting me be here today to read to you my favorite book. It's called Officer Buckle and Gloria. It is wrote and illustrated, meaning she drew the pictures, by Peggy Rathman. As Mrs. Nelson said, there's a lot of safety tips in here that Officer Buckle taught, but they didn't really work till he had a special guest and a helper. We'll see who that is. Officer Buckle knew more safety tips than anyone else in that bill. Every time he thought of a new one, he'd thumbtack it onto his bulletin board. Safety tip number 77, never stand on a swivel chair. Officer Buckle shared his safety tips with the students at Knapville School. Nobody ever listened. Sometimes there was snoring. Afterwards, it was business as usual. Miss Topple, the principal, took down the welcome banner. Never stand on a swivel chair, said Officer Buckle, but Miss Topple didn't hear him. Then one day, Knapville Police Department brought a, a police dog named Gloria. When it was time for Gloria to, or it was time for Officer Buckle to give a safety speech at the school, Gloria went along. Children, this is Gloria, announced Officer Buckle. Gloria obeys my command. Sit, Gloria, and Gloria sat. Officer Buckle gave safety tip number one, keep your shoelaces tied. The children sat up and stared. Officer Buckle looked to see if Gloria was sitting at attention. She was. Safety tip number two, said Officer Buckle. Always wipe spills before someone slips and falls. The children's eyes popped. Officer Buckle checked on Gloria again. Good dog, he said. Officer Buckle thought of a safety tip he had discovered that morning. Never leave a thumbtack where you might sit on it. The audience roared. That means they laughed. Officer Buckle grinned. He said the rest of the tips were he said the rest of the tips with plenty of expression. The children clapped their hands and cheered. Some of them laughed until they cried. Officer Buckle was surprised. He had never noticed how funny safety tips could be. After this safety speech, there wasn't a single accident. The next day, an enormous letter arrived at the police station. It was stuffed with thank you letters from the students at Knapville School. Every letter had a drawing of glory on it. Officer Buckle thought the drawing showed a lot of imagination. This letter says, Dear Gloria and Officer Buckle, thank you for coming to our school. You are nice. Your friend, George. His favorite letter was written on a star-shaped piece of paper. It said, You and Gloria make a great team. Your friend, Claire. P.S. I always wear a crash helmet. Safety tip number seven. Officer Buckle was thumbtacking Claire's letter to his bulletin board when the phone started ringing. Grade schools, high schools, and daycare centers were calling about the safety speech. Officer Buckle, they said, our students want to hear your safety tips. And please, bring along your police dog. Then, one day, a television news team videotaped Officer Buckle in the State College Auditorium. When they finished a safety tip number 99, don't go swimming during an electrical storm, the students jumped to their feet and applauded. Bravo, bravo, they cheered. Officer Buckle bowed again and again. But that night, Officer Buckle watched himself on the 10 o'clock news. The next day, the principal at Knapville School telephoned the police station. 
Good morning, Officer Buckle. It's time for your safety speech. Officer Buckle frowned. I'm not giving any more speeches. Nobody looks at me anyway. Oh, said Miss Topple. Well, how, how about Gloria? Could she come? Someone else from the police station gave Gloria a ride to the school. Gloria sat on stage, looking lonely. Then she fell asleep, and so did the audience. After Gloria left, Natville School had his biggest accident ever. It started with a puddle of banana pudding. Splat, splatter, sploosh, everyone slid, smacking into Miss Topple, who screamed and let go of the hammer. The next morning, a pile of letters arrived at the police station. Every letter had a drawing of the accident. Officer Buckle was shocked. At the bottom of the pile was a note written on a paper star. Officer Buckle smiled. The star or the note said, Gloria missed you yesterday. Your friend Claire. P.S. Don't worry, I was wearing my helmet. Safety tip number seven. Gloria gave Officer Buckle a big kiss on the nose. Officer Buckle gave Gloria a nice pat on the back. Then, Officer Buckle thought of his best safety tip ever. Safety tip number 101. Always stick with your buddy. So now we know who his helper was. Officer Buckle was better with his um, police dog, Gloria. Now... Did you know that the Walworth County Sheriff's Department has three police dogs? And what that has three officers that work with them. And I believe that you are going to get to meet one of those canine officers and his dog. Canine officer Matt Weber and his dog Ari might be making a special appearance. Stay tuned.